Live from the French Quarter, this is Eyewitness Morning News. And good morning once again. Thanks for joining us for our almost 8 o'clock hour of the Eyewitness Morning News on this nice Monday morning, uh, although you uh, thought it was cold, Sally. Yeah, it is cold, but it's warm in the kitchen. So nice to have from Ralph's on the Avenue, Chef Chip Flanagan, and also dietitian. Um, we're so happy to have Kim Hemingway as well. And we're going to be cooking heart healthy today. Yes, we are. What All are week making? long. What are you doing today? Today we're going to do a roasted butternut and parsnip soup. Mm. Without the heavy cream. Without the heavy cream. That's what makes it heart healthy. That's right. We're going right. to teach you, you how to do that. And you won't miss it. You won't miss it. We'll find out more about that. And we're just starting. We're going to have everything from soup to dessert this week, starting with soup today. And Eric's going to be heading right over there, and we're going to be in the kitchen with Chef Chip Flanagan of Ralph's on the Park to see the first in our series of heart-healthy holiday recipes. So stay tuned. Now that we're in November, the holidays are knocking at our door, and as you put together that menu for your family gathering, the American Heart Association has some heart-healthy suggestions. So this morning, we kick off a week-long series of heart-healthy recipe dis demonstrations, starting with soup prepared by Chef Chip Flanagan of Ralph's on the Park, and here with that, and, and also some heart-healthy diet tips is Kim Hemingway, a dietitian with the American Heart Association. Good to have both of you here. And, and Kim, why should we care about eating heart-healthy at Thanksgiving time? You know, during the holidays, you think this is a time where you can just let your guard down and eat what you want. Well, now is the time that we've learned how to take all these different ingredients and put them together to taste very heart healthy for uh -huh. heart disease, diabetes. And heart disease is the number one killer yes. here in, in Louisiana. So yes. this is something we need to be concerned about. And people may be having guests coming to their house who have to watch what they're eating mm -hmm. because of uh, diabetes or any other number of other things. So chef, tell us what you're doing here. Um, first of all, I know you have the squash. Yes, we're doing a, we roast uh, the butternut squash, which it's this vegetable right here. And we just slice it in half and uh, put it on a pan in the oven for about 30 minutes until the pulp is soft. And they even have a sticker where you can, you know, there's a recipe for microwaving it if you needed to do that. Well, it's so convenient <laughs> right there on the label. So you see how soft it is. And then you can just use a spoon and scoop out the pulp. Uh -huh. And we add it to our mixture of vegetables that we've sauteed in coconut oil. Now you said, Kim, that you can use another type of oil that would be just as good. That's why I like this recipe. Mm -hmm. It's very flexible and you can use olive oil instead. Mm -hmm. You want to change the flavor as well as the amount of fat and the saturation. Okay, so in your pan right now, you're putting the butternut squash that you have already roasted in that the That has oven. been roasted, and yes. And what else is in that uh, pan? We have sauteed onions, carrots, celery, parsnip and garlic. Mm. Just a touch of garlic, not too much. Yeah, because we love our garlic. And so you put that, are you just sweating down those vegetables? Yes, we don't want to color it at all okay. because what we want is a beautiful bright orange color. Mm. Are you going to ev eventually puree all of this together? Yes, we have our blender there. Once you uh, get all the vegetables in, then we're going to add our vegetable stock, okay. which is just um, onions, celery, parsnips, um, and carrots and we cover that with water and just simmer it for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then we get a nice flavorful stock and that parsnip and carrot bring out a lot of sweetness. Oh, and then what kind of uh, sweetener do you use for this? Um, the soup is sweetened naturally with the parsnip and carrot and then we do a little garnish with some Greek style yogurt and we add a little truvia to it mm -hmm. as a sugar substitute. Now, there are so many different um, sweetened substitutes out there. Which one do you prefer, Kim? They all have their place. It just depends on the recipe, and that's why I like to work with chefs because they know mm -hmm. which sugar choice works best in the recipe. Do you find that Truvia works better when you are, are cooking? Uh, I find that the flavor is not as artificial, mm -hmm. I guess you would say, as, say, Splendor or Equal. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the best substitute that I've uh, found taste-wise. And this is to your taste. And so now you have the, the leeks that you're chopping Yeah, we have some green onion. We're going to add this to our yogurt also. 
Okay, just and to give it a little that, more. That Greek yogurt. We've heard so much about Greek great. yogurt being good for you. And this is a non-fat yogurt. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add um, a little satsuma juice. Satsumas are big right now. They're coming in season. This is the beginning, and as soon as it gets cold again, mm. it's gonna, they're going to sweeten up too. Yeah, we I'll mix look at. that in. And this is, instead of using, like Eric was saying, asking about heavy cream, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to use this non fat yogurt, and we're just flavoring it up. And I have something that I love right here with the heart healthy cooking. You know, you look for different ways to get flavors in, and I use a lot of uh, vinegars. And this is, this is a vinegar made from um, orange blossoms. Oh. They take the tiny flowers. So you can and look for it. this orange blossom vinegar. Is this easily found? Um, it's probably at uh, specialty stores. Okay. Um, I don't think a regular grocery mm. store would have it. But there are many, many, many types of vinegars. And we have a few more here that we're going to use this whole week. Oh, we have a week of recipes, and we want to tell everyone, uh, first of all, let's take a look at the nutritional chart for the roasted butternut squash and parsnips soup. For one cup serving, you're only going to have 95 calories with 12 and a half grams of carbohydrates, two tenths of a gram of fat, two grams of protein, 132 milligrams of sodium. That's pretty good, Ken. That is wonderful. And here's a look at the ingredients that go into the soup, two butternut squash, one yellow onion peeled and chopped, one carrot peeled and chopped, six parsnips peeled and chopped, and then you also have your um, one tablespoon of olive oil and five garlics, as I said, peeled and chopped, two quarts of chicken um, or vegetable stock, and for the garnish, here's what goes into the garnish, a half cup of Greek yogurt, fat-free, half a satsuma, just the juice from the satsuma, about two tablespoons, one tablespoon of orange blossom vinegar, and one tablespoon of the, what was the sweetener you used again? The uh, Truvia. Truvia. Okay, and you might use Splenda depending on your taste. So, we are going to go over now to Eric, and we're going to be back in the kitchen a little bit later. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Eyewitness Morning News on this beautiful Monday, November 4th. And we have lots coming up in this half hour of the program. Another look at the heart-healthy recipe for roasted butternut squash and parsnip soup. Chef Ralph Flanagan is in. Chip. Chip. Chip Flanagan, sorry, yes. from Ralph's. Ralph's on the park. And you're open seven days a week? Seven days a week. Lunch and dinner? Lunch Tuesday through Friday and Sunday brunch. Oh, dinner right. seven nights. And oh. now, will the heart healthy soup be on your menu? Let's say yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you do have a spa menu as yes, well. Yes, we do. We do have healthy dishes. We call them spa plates. We change them every month. There you so go. So we are aware. And we're so happy to have you and Kim here today. And we're going to be back in the kitchen in just a few minutes. Even though I renamed him Ralph. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Chip Flanagan of Ralph's on the Park. And you're finishing up this butternut squash soup. Show us how you do yes, that. Yes, we are pureeing it and then we strain it to mm -hmm. give it a nice texture. So it's going to get loud for a second. Okay. So all you have to do is yell puree a little. Puree it? And <laughs> you just puree it. This is a nice blender, too. Uh -huh. This takes care of all of it. And we're going to turn it on high. And all of the vegetables in the stock have softened. Mm -hmm. And now why do you strain it? Well, the, uh, the fiber in the vegetables. Oh, um, I kind of like the fiber in the soup, though. Well, I'll give you the pulp out of the, uh, <laughs> out of the chinois, and we can do that. And so you push Make this in the blender. And, and Kim, who is here from the uh, People's Health associated with um, Heart Association, uh, tell us what's so good about this for people who are watching their, their calories. Well, one cup is only 100 calories, and that's, my goodness, three times less than a typical traditional Thanksgiving soup. Okay. And so that helps make it heart healthy, and that's oh, the whole yeah. idea. And you can, you can make a whole meal like this. I mean, you know, if you put spices and things in it and just make substitutes with, you guys do some truvia today mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that, you can cut out some of the calories and some of the stuff. And, yeah. and you also, then you top it after you put that in the bowl. You yes, we're going to put it right in the bowl right yeah, now. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and we'll have show a... that up there. And... I'll pass the bowl to you. I can say I helped. <laughs> and now what's the topping you put on there, Chef? This is um, a strained yogurt we flavored with uh, satsuma and orange Ooh, blossom vinegar. Let's yeah. see if it is pretty. That. And it's going to add a little, uh, a little the, uh, the cream sensation, because mm. you were asking for heavy cream. There you go. There. That's All right, we got to run. We'll see you back oh. here at noon. And have a have great day. And we have more recipes tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Have a great day, everyone.